The 15 Most Confused English Words and How to Use Them Correctly Hey everyone, welcome back to today's daily lessons, where we're dedicated to helping you master the English language. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss any of our insightful content. In today's video, we're going to tackle some of the most confusing English words and show you how to use them correctly. These words often trip up even native speakers, so let's dive right in and clear up the confusion. Word pair number one, affect versus effect. Our first confusing word pair is affect and effect. Affect is usually a verb, which means to have an influence on something, while effect is typically a noun, referring to the result or outcome of an action. Example sentences. 1. The bad weather affected our plans for the day. 2. The new law had a positive effect on the community. Word pair number 2. Lie versus lay next up, we have lie and lay. Lie means to recline or be in a horizontal position, while lay means to place something down. The confusion here arises because the past tense of lie is lay, and so people do not know which one should be applied in most situations. Example sentences. 1. I need to lie down for a few minutes to rest. 2. Please lay the book on the table when you're done. Word pair hash 3. Then and than. Our third pair is then and than. Then is used to indicate time or sequence, while than is used for comparisons. Example sentences. 1. We went to the movies, and then we had dinner. 2. My sister is taller than I am. Word pair 4. Compliment versus compliment, Moving on to complement and compliment. Compliment means to complete or enhance something, while compliment means to praise or express admiration. Example sentences. 1. The red shoes perfectly complement her outfit. 2. My boss complimented me on my presentation. Word pair 5. Fewer versus less. Our fifth confusing word pair is fewer and less. Use fewer when referring to countable items and less when referring to uncountable quantities or amounts. Example sentences. 1. There were fewer people at the party than we expected. 2. I'm trying to eat less sugar to improve my health. Word pair number 6. It's versus it's. Next, we have it's and it's. It's is a possessive pronoun meaning belonging to it, while it's is a contraction of it is or it has. Example sentences. 1. The dog wagged its tail excitedly. 2. It's going to rain this afternoon. Word pair number 7. Principal versus principal. Principal is a noun referring to the head of a school or the primary person in a situation, or an adjective, meaning the main or most important. Principal, on the other hand, is a noun that refers to a fundamental rule, belief, or concept. Example sentences. 1. The principal gave a speech at the graduation ceremony. 2. She always tries to live by her principles. Word pair number 8. Accept versus accept. Our eighth word pair is accept and accept. Accept means to receive or agree to something, while accept is a preposition that means excluding or not including something. Example sentences. 1. I'm happy to accept your invitation to the party. 2. Everyone is going to the concert except for John. Word pair number nine. Advice versus advise next up, we have advice and advise. Advice is a noun that refers to guidance or recommendations, while advise is a verb that means to give counsel or suggestions. Example sentences. One, she gave me some excellent advice on finding a new job. Two, I advised him to start saving money for the future. Word pair number 10. Discreet versus discreet. Our 10th confusing word pair is discreet and discreet. Discreet means to be careful or unobtrusive, while discreet refers to something separate or distinct. Example sentences. 1. She made a discreet exit from the party to avoid drawing attention. 2. There are several discreet steps involved in the process. Word pair number 11. Illicit versus illicit. Moving on to illicit and illicit. Illicit is a verb that means to draw out a response or reaction, while illicit is an adjective that means illegal or forbidden. Example sentences. 1. The teacher asked a question to elicit a response from the students. 2. They were arrested for their involvement in illicit activities. Word pair number 12. Insure versus insure. Next, we have insure and insure. 
Insure means to make certain or guarantee, while insure refers to arranging financial protection or compensation in case of loss or damage. Example sentences. 1. Double-checking your work will ensure that you avoid mistakes. 2. You should insure your car against theft and accidents. Word pair number 13. Flout versus flaunt. Our 13th confusing word pair is flout and flaunt. Flout means to openly disregard or mock a rule or convention, while flaunt means to display something ostentatiously or show off. Example sentences. 1. He was caught flouting traffic laws and received a hefty fine. 2. She loves to flaunt her wealth by wearing expensive clothes and jewelry. Word pair number 14. Imply versus infer. Moving on to imply and infer. Imply means to suggest or indicate something without directly stating it, while infer means to deduce or draw a conclusion based on evidence or reasoning. Example sentences. 1. His silence seemed to imply that he didn't agree with the decision. 2. Based on her expression, I inferred that she was unhappy with the news. Word pair number 15. Stationary versus stationary. Our final confusing word pair is stationary and stationary. First, a stationary means not moving or unchanging, while stationary refers to writing materials, such as paper and envelopes. Example sentences. 1. The car remained stationary in the parking lot all day. 2. I need to buy some new stationery for sending out invitations. And there you have them. 15 most confusing English words and how to use them correctly in your sentences. Remember to practice because practice makes perfect. So try to incorporate these words into your daily conversations and writing. Soon you'll be using them with confidence and precision without confusing them for the other. As always, thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial to be helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for daily English lessons. I will see you in my next video. Bye!